today we're now seeing the first sign of consequences. The state just gave the first two districts, Salachua and Broward counties, 48 hours to change their rules or lose funding. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders explains why this could be just the beginning. In two state orders, Alachua and Broward are given a final 48 hours to start offering parents non-medical opt-outs or face financial penalties. If the clock runs out, the state withholds funds equal to a month's worth of pay for each school board member who voted for non-compliance. It'll happen every month until districts fall back in line and they can't pull dollars from elsewhere in the budget to backfill losses. Florida's Ed Commissioner said in a release more penalties are also possible. Quote, we cannot have government officials pick and choose what laws they want to follow. These local school boards are doing what they believe is right. Florida's Ag Commissioner and candidate for governor Nikki Freed continues to blast the mask mandate ban. The Democrat has been working with the White House to find ways to help any punished districts, including using federal COVID relief money earmarked for schools. With the state now advancing its threat, Freed tweeted Friday she was reaching out to the Biden administration and contacting legal counsel. I respect each and every one of those board members who are willing uh, to risk their jobs, risk their pay to make sure that we don't lose children in the schools. DeSantis has been frustrated with the White House involvement. He continues to defend his order as protecting parents' rights and told the president to butt out Thursday. While all the world burns and while parts of our country burn, you know, you have this this obsession that a little five-year-old, you know, should not be able to go to school without wearing that mask for eight hours a day. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.